Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the French campaign where we are currently enjoying uh, a period of peace. Now, I want one that reduces unrest. So, this one, because my unrest is a little bit higher than I would like. Netherlands wants a tonnant. Um, yes. And we've taken Hong Kong, which is actually why I wanted to start recording the episode <laughs> uh, in uh, July 1907. But we've taken Hong Kong, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to order uh, the ships that were doing the blockading back. Um, uh, apart from... This fleet here, which is, oh no, it's slightly too big. Damn. Anyway, uh, screw it. Oh. Uh, have to trickle or Cosmo. Then the fourth A, I will, I will move somewhere else, probably to uh, Xiamen. And uh, yes, things looking relatively secure in Southeast Asia. Finances not looking amazing, but they're okay. Research-wise, we're about to get the 14-inch Mark I. Um, is that a new destroyer? Nope. No new cruisers. This is going to be a uh, blank tech, so it's not like we're getting new Dreadnought designs coming online anytime soon uh, so it's going to be a period of of more refitting our our ships just going through so it'd be the tricolores the leons Asperan herbers kind of next in line um, and then we'll be back to re-refitting <laughs> the 1890 era ships all the ships that got refitted in 1900 um, will be next on the list for uh, a refit, but uh, I will show that as and when they are going on. Still really hoping for a push this way. The Russians have taken uh, Xinjiang, and looks like they're about to take Mongolia, uh, but they've had another revolution. Um, this continual war with Japan... Uh, which they haven't been doing very well in. Um, really hurting them. Really hurting them. As for us, we're looking okay. Still the largest economy in the world. Thank you very much. Uh, Britain and Germany are kind of dueling it out at the moment they have very well actually no germany has a it's a huge fleet they've got leapt up to half a million tons so war with germany which is looming uh is going to be a big one i think uh they are looking quite scary anyway um i'm gonna uh, go deal with moving ships around and balancing sliders and budgets and i will see you again once there is well, something to talk to you about. Hmm. Welcome back. We've been offered Eastern China again. But this, this, this is, this is so high. I don't think it's doable. So I'm going to say no. Need the army to do it. The army could take it instantly. But yeah, asking me to put together 200,000 tons of ships, which is a lot. Um because we would need basically every single ship we have. Um, no, it's it's not practical. I've moved the older ships uh, from La Havre. I've just popped them in La Rochelle. Um, I don't want to move them too far away for now, because obviously if we get a war with Germany, we might need every single ship available. Um, and this is another reason why I don't want to commit every single ship I have or at least every single battleship I have, to sailing over to deal with the Germans. Now, uh, Shipyard is 
looking just fine. Um, I think I will use this opportunity to get the tricolores refitted because I think we can do a pretty big upgrade for them potentially um, so we're going to have to remove this gun and probably these ones for, for now for now, don't worry too much um, we're also going to grab turbines for them now we've got 300% engine efficiency so we can drop them back to a natural boiler uh, they should have balance from the start. Uh, anti flash, double bottom hole. Uh, they can grab capitalistic, TNT, and cordite. Uh, they already had electrical turrets. They can get bigger torps and a radio. And that's that's a nice nice upgrade, but we're not done because these can be replaced. Oh, no, they can't. We've still only got singles. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, I'm going to leave a lot of displacement on the table for these ships then, for when we finally get uh, twin twin guns for light like, cruisers. Um, can, I, can I shove this back here? Yeah, I can. That might help us quite a bit in the future. So I do want um, to put these back. Amazingly, that does not get in the way. <laughs> Don't ask me how. That doesn't get in the way. Oh, I was hoping I, could fit, I can fit one there, but it's it's a bit stupid. Um, can I? No, there's still only forty millimeter. Uh, now, unfortunately, these turrets cannot be armoured, which doesn't make much sense to me, but there we go. Uh, now, armour might need a little bit of an upgrade. Oh, 100 millimetres is okay, but I think, yeah, let's go up to 110. Uh, and 50. 50. 50 on the main deck as well. Let's upgrade these to 80 on the turret tops. Get these a little bit more armour as well. And upgrade our inner protection. And then I still have 4% displacement, which I'm gonna... Well, no, we'll get them a, a range bump for now. Again, once we get the twin turrets, we can we can come back and look at these. But uh, a cheeky cheeky little upgrade for the tricolores uh, should give them a nice little little boost. Uh, I'll get that ordered, and uh, I'll see you again when there's some more news. All right, welcome back. It's now January nineteen oh eight. And I think I'm going to bring in the Leons for uh, refits because we we have spare um, we have spare shipyard cap, and maybe we can do something interesting with them. Uh, first of all, I do want to actually check what the are these? These are the thin enhanced funnel threes. Yeah, they're probably probably the best funnels I'm going to get access to. Uh, for this. However, turbines, that makes a big difference. Uh, and electric steering, we can upgrade them to Krupp armor, upgrade their torpedo defense system, their inner defenses as well. All these things have maximum bulkheads. Let's see, new shells, TNT and cordites, uh, better torpedoes. And radios. I think their armor could probably do with an upgrade. Uh, the deck armor, I mean. 
Um, yeah, definitely. I'm going to upgrade that to a new kind of standard. And upgrade the turret tops. And then, yeah, we're at 100%. <laughs> uh, the only thing I'm thinking is, if I went to standard vault kits, could I, could I fit another gun on? No. 9%. That's, that's too much. It's also a very radical refit. Um, for the ship. Uh, however, we can fiddle around with gun lengths a little bit. I would love to get those longer 80 mils. Um, oh. I maybe don't need the full four. F no. Yeah, let's go down to four. 420. Uh, shave those down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I think that's a bit more balanced. But uh, yeah, there you go. They get a cheeky little, uh, cheeky little refit. Uh, given that they are one of our main battle line ships at the moment, then all, and they're only three months. I don't think we'll be at war with Germany in. Less than three months. That should give us a nice capability upgrade. Yes. Right. I'm going to order this and uh, well, keep uh, keep looking for things to talk to you about. Ah, welcome back. Uh, so it's now April. The Germans are approaching six hundred thousand tons of ships, although they're building. Uh, has slowed down. We're at minus 96, which makes me rather concerned. Um, however, we can get the Aspirant Herbers refitted. They're next on the list. And why not? We can get them a cheeky little upgrade, and most importantly, they get Mark IV. 80 millimeter guns. Uh, so we can give them turbines. We can pop them down to natural boilers, an auxiliary engine, better steering, better armor. Not that it matters hugely on a destroyer. Uh, better shells. I was going to go increased HE for them. They already had electrical turrets, but we can swap around their stuff, give them radios and I think we're looking pretty decent with that, to be honest um, 18 millimeter 45s that's actually very spicy do we still only have twin torpedo launches? Yeah we do um these are pretty nice guns. And we have a lot of spare displacement. Unfortunately, again, these can only be fitted with top armor, which makes no sense to me. But um, okay, sure. Can we fit more armor onto the actual ship? I mean, a little bit. Uh, not that it's going to make a huge difference. But, uh, yeah, we can fit a little bit more armor on the ship. Give the maximum bulkheads. More coal. Just a, an overall upgrade. Getting them combat ready. Um, sure. We'll save that, and I'll get all of them under construction. A few months later, and I noticed that um, our, our relations with the Germans have massively improved. I was keeping an eye on this, um, but I must have missed the event popping up. Um, you do get an event 
which is either like go to war or you know be nice to the French. <laughs> the Germans must have gotten that, and they must have picked the be nice, diffuse tensions or something like that. So war with the Germans seems to have been avoided, but war with the Italians still very much on the cards. The new Russian Empire seems to like us quite a lot. Um, China hasn't reappeared yet, but I did get an event saying that they're trying to take over Pengu, which is pretty hilarious. If that happens, I'll probably try and immediately go in and take <laughs> take them out, um, just for the hilarity of it. Uh, otherwise, yes, it's, it's quiet again, which means I'm going to pull the Indomptables in for a refit straight away. Uh, to be their second refit. Uh huh. I'll pull all of those off. We'll rebuild the tertiary battery from scratch. Uh, we will give them turbines, uh, electrical steering, new armor. Anti-flash, improved torpedo protection, improved citadel layout, um, new shells, new powder, new torps, radio. I think that's pretty much it. And then, yeah, secondary guns. We could build twin 80 mil. I think they are pretty much going to be the best bet. They look really silly up in the tower, but not totally stupid. Actually, no, they look totally stupid. Take them off. Um, but uh, going to twins should... Oops. Going to twins should solve the issue a little bit for them. We'll stick, I could stick with the 260s. Because, yeah, we're going to have to upgrade the armor uh, somewhat. Uh, Let's uh, trim these down. Trim this to three hundred. Uh, trim this to three hundred. Make that more like two eighty. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, drop the range back a little. There we go. Uh, can I make these 45s? Yes, I can. There we go. So, improved guns, a reworking of the armor. Um,. And, uh, yeah, replacing this secondary battery and putting in new ones. And I think they'll be a little bit more combat effective, but it's a fairly major refit. Six months. Uh, these things happen. I'll order it, and uh, I'll see you again when there's some more things going on. Well, 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 would you look at that? Who's back? It's China! Uh, <clears throat> yes, in Pengu, as I thought they were. Uh, did they hate us? Nope, well, they're going to start hating us soon. <laughs> uh, yep, going to start pissing them off. See if we can't grab uh, Pengu off them. They don't even have a fleet, so shouldn't be 
too tricky. Uh, yes, the brewery. Can we get them in for a refit? Yes, we probably could. I'm going to wait till the battleship's done, and then I'll bring the cruisers in for a refit. Huh, not quite what I was expecting. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we've been offered the opportunity to conquer Tonga, which is definitely something we should try and do. We should have a battleship lying around somewhere. Yeah, send the fleet. Overkill, sure, but might as well. Uh, yeah, I think that should be fine. Let's keep pissing the Chinese off uh, to the point where I'm allowed to go and invade Pega again. Um, and uh, yeah, let's pull the Brui in for a refit. As they are next on the list and the shipyards are mostly free. Wow, nothing turned red. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Fairly decent little upgrade they're going to get. Hmm. Okay. Huh. These ones have kept their armor. Somehow. Can I upgrade them to jewels? And they keep their armor? <laughs> okay, so I need to remember that. If I'm taking them off, I don't um, take them all off in one go. I can uh, keep their armor. Lovely. Uh, we really should rate the ship's armor as well. Something along <clears throat> those lines, which is going to make it a lot heavier. Uh, cut back on the coal. Uh, stand up bulkhead. Default length, two tons. Do what? 80 on the turret top. There you go. Um, fine. A little bit of a side grade in some ways, but should still um, give these things a new lease of life. I'm going to save that. I'm going to get them refitting. And uh, then we'll carry on. I think the next one... On the list is the colonies. Um, so I'll be back with that, or I'll be back with some news. Hmm, well this is new. Uh, Liberia. Uh, conquest of Liberia, yes. Well, we'll try that. Why don't we send the fleet from La Rochelle? Uh, they're not really doing much, and they should be enough to deal with things. Um... How's this going? 100%. Love it. Excellent. Well, aside from that, again, quiet. It's going to cost me some money to do these conquests. I'm still not uh, fully funding the tech budget. I've stopped building a shipyard cap. Uh, not cap, but uh, total, because 88,000 tons is way more than we need for now. Um, but yeah, having a fleet this big <laughs> means that I can't, um, I can't pump loads into, uh, 
loads into research at the moment. Uh, politics wise, again, Germany is starting to not like us again. So just have to keep an eye on that. But uh, we're going to keep increasing tension with China. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can grab grab them before the Germans and the Italians move in against us. Uh, Russians are on the move. They're taking northern China. Um, no tension, damn it. Oh, well, we have taken Tonga, though. That is something. Send the fleet back to Fort Bayard. Um, kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, war with Germany is going to gonna kick off soon. Oh, unless they, they do what they did before. At least the Chinese are starting to build stuff. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. Looks like Russia is currently the main beneficiary. The, these provinces are relatively empty. Um... Yes, a big, powerful Russia could be very interesting later on the campaign. Uh, how are we doing otherwise? Okay, how's this conquest doing? 100%. Brilliant. Well, uh, I was going to say I'll see you in two months, but the refits are done of the brewery. So it is the colony class up next. Not even sure how many we have of these, but really, 110 doesn't fit anymore. That's a pity. These things are basically torpedo boats at this point. So, uh, yeah, it's a shame about losing that gun. They're really... Wow, those would be, be huge. Hmm. One, a 155 is not going to fit anywhere on this ship, is it? No, is the answer to that. Um, do you know what they could use, though? It's more speed. Let's get them up to 21 knots. That's a bit more respectable. Right. I'll get those refitting. Uh, not that there are too many of them. And uh, see what the next class is that we need to do. We have taken control of Liberia. Excellent. Right. This fleet can uh, head home. That's very good. I think the other fleet is back in port. And I think one of them, yes. Oh, the Brie <laughs> herself uh, needs a refit. Uh, but that also means I can double check to see if I'm spending money I don't need to. Yes, I am. And it looks like our, are we really light on the building front? Yeah, we are. Hmm, interesting. Just foreign orders for the Netherlands and a few refits. So keep going with the refits. We don't have any new hulls coming up with this tech, and that's a year out. So a bit of a gap. Oh, maybe not, though. Battlecruiser 1s in nine months. That is Quite exciting. Uh, Mark 2, 14 inch. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it for now. Um, uh, keep pissing off the Chinese, though. 
Um, yeah, I think we're all right. Probably start to increase. It's so expensive. Tech. Yeah, let's get it up to the 64%. There we go. Right. See you when there's something going on. Something going on like war with Germany. <laughs> Very next month. Bloody hell. Okay. War it is. Now. Oh, direct. Oh, direct provocement. We're going to have... I'm just going to put the entire fleet onto sea control. It's going to be very expensive. Oh, we can afford it. Okay. The next thing to consider is invasions and stuff. So I think realistically we should play it a little bit cautious because I'm assuming most of the German fleet is up here although that is apparently not the case. Where the flip are they? I don't know. Okay. But I would like to try and take Cyrenaica. So I'm actually going to take the fleet that was just here. <laughs> invading Liberia. They're going to be redirected. And I'm going to send Belikers to join them. Now that she's finished her refit. Uh, let's see if we can take Cyrenaica. Because this will lock the Germans out of the Mediterranean. So that I don't have to worry about that anymore. And then I'll probably send this fleet over to attack anything vulnerable down sort of Africa way. Over here in the Pacific, they are in control of Sumatra, the Germans. So this could be a good target uh, because it's not a particularly difficult province to take. Oh, there's some of their fleet anyway. Um... Uh, they just stuffed everything up here. Hmm. Potentially. Uh, and we also, of course, have the German Pacific holdings over here. That could be very interesting to try and take. But that is all plans for the future. They don't have anything over here, do they? No. I'm going to have to see what... What the Germans do, um, potentially we're going to be sinking quite a lot of stuff in the North Sea. Uh, I think sailing our fleet into the Baltic is not my wisest plan. Not until the Germans play their hand and we, and we reduce these numbers down a little bit. Looks like they're about to go to war with Japan as well, which is very interesting. Uh, is anyone coming in against us? Yes, probably Italy. Um, <clears throat> oh, well, things are about to get interesting. Let's see if we get any battles in June. Yep. <laughs> like I said, uh, Germany is now at war with Japan as well. Um, and we have our first battle, a port strike. Uh, they are attacking La Havre, which is certainly a mood. Uh, the Virgino is sitting there. She's a Republic class. Let's have a look. <clears throat> a gear class battleship. Oh. <laughs> have you spotted what I've spotted? They're using compound armor. That's <clears throat> a little bit out of date, Germany. Just a little bit. Okay, the version over here is not using the latest and greatest. She's only using, I think, Harvey armor. Excuse me. But still, that's uh, a lot better than <laughs> a lot better than compound. Oh dear. They do have a trained crew. Two hundred fifty-six millimeter guns. So they're not running twelve inches yet, or at least not on this ship. All right. Let's let's see. 
Let's see what you're able to do. Already have them spotted, and we are already tracking the guns. This is the rate of fire on these things. More or less, one round a minute. It's not too shabby. It must be... quite near the edge of the range, though. So I'm not expecting uh, massive accuracy. It does look good. The Republic... Let's have a look at the Germans. What are you running? Um, I was going to say a battle hexagon, but it's not a battle hexagon. Strictly speaking. Although, well, an elongated one. Certainly got a lot of guns on it. Mm, yeah, I guess. Turrets very close to the edge of the ship. Well, I guess we'll uh, let them close the distance. First hit to the Germans, though. Ranging them. There we go. Finally got a hit in. Wasn't even from the main gun. A hit, but ricocheted. A very high chance to hit here. They've closed right in. Not the best tactic with this kind of ship. Ah, oh, that's pretty shockingly crap armour. 155s will probably do a fair bit here. Just get them to fire high explosive. Oof off the main belt. Oh, missed again. I'm not getting lucky with my shots at all. Solid. They've lost their captain by the looks of it. They're really trying to close in on me. But yeah, that means... Uh, let's get their fire control there. Oh, and launching a couple of torps. 
cheeky. It's really, it's the 155 millimeter that's doing all the damage at the moment. There you go. It's a bit more solid. Very nice. Not sure why you only fired one gun, but dreadnought things. Oh, there we go. There we go. That is that is a lot of hurt. I didn't even look at their components actually. Heavy ballastite picric shells. Interesting. Hmm. Front of the grocer occur first, very heavily damaged. Front of the Virgino, very heavily damaged. <laughs> Haven't gotten lucky with um, flooding hits, I tell you that much. They, however, have gotten extremely lucky. We're going to have to retreat. Neither of us are firing. Gonna have to agree to disagree here. Oh, but we could get a couple more rounds in and some torps and sinker. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I like that. It's like the admiral has ordered you with to withdraw. Melt. <laughs> Fires the guns. Bang. <laughs> Lovely. Well, uh, just goes to show, like. Battles in uh, this area are dangerous, but I am very pleased we dealt considerably more damage than we took, and we have sunk our first German battleship. Lovely stuff. Back to the map. Right, it's now July. Uh, I've ordered the Mediterranean fleet to join the reserve fleet here, because this is only at 42%, which is pretty rough. Um, there's things going on in Africa. Um, we've got two units trying to take the Congo Free State, which is nice. And the army is pushing across into South Germany. And somehow, <laughs> France has amassed three million men for this, <laughs> which, um, sure... I think we've conscripted, like, the entirety of China. <laughs> Sent them to invade Germany, which um, is is a thing. Uh, once uh, this gets up to 100% chance, I will try and launch an invasion of Sumatra because the Germans, well, not all of the Germans, but they do have a fleet kind of hanging around. I did see... Armoured cruisers leaving and heading this way. Yeah, you know, a bunch of them. So I think that they've been recalled to Germany. No, they're going to go and sit here um, in the Western Med. Try and uh, piss me off, I guess. Um, but uh, yes, we shall continue the invasion. Hopefully it'll get up to 100% now. Ah, they were planning something. War with Italy it is. All right. Jesus, that's a lot of transports for the Germans to lose. Okay, we're losing some as well, but 
Um, that is interesting. Oh, we're going for Togoland. And going through Libya as well, apparently. Um, okay, lots of interesting things going on. Uh, right. Sure. Um, okay, China, yeah, China, maybe Spain joining the war against us. Ooh, that would be bad. What about Italy? Do they have anyone else to worry about? The British? Oh, come on, Entente Cordiale. <laughs> Join us. Come on, come beat up the Italians with us. That would be excellent. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it here with... Ooh, hello. Hmm. We could have a go at her, actually. Yeah, this is going to be for the next time, because Kaiserine, if she's the same... Yeah, she is. She's the same ship. She has garbage extended armor. She basically only has a main belt, and if we can close in on her, well, A, we can put torpedoes into her, but B, we can just pepper her with small guns and maybe take her out. And what's going on over here? The Normandy is in action. Oh, yes, very good. Okay, well, those are going to be for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.